much like Nessay, a town to say. Jesu Roshin, Shumin Serofia, you Mataya, Puson Law Option, Saint Jim Babylon. Tama Pusa, Tama Tabe, Kana. ဒီတမတပယ်မှာရှေးဝစွာ Come to try to get the alias. Do you hope you met the young council up and a cup of deeper look? How much of it? Very up and a cup of deeper look. In go to that naked. ที่กันดีแบบปาลีดออกมามัดดันเต็นทาราဖြစ်လို့အဲ့ဒီအပ္ပန္ဒကပဋိပရာတုတ်တိုင်းကျင်းကျင်းကြိုးကိုအားထု
In this adult sota, the Buddha explained the three practices. This is three practices is the first one is Indriya Sukhuta Tvarata. Indriya Tu Indriya Sukhuta Tvarata. We must guard the door of sense faculties. That is one of the important practice. The second is Bhojali Madda Nyuta. We must have moderate food. We must have moderate eating. The third one is we must have watchful practice. Chakriya Nu Yoga. In this sutta, the Buddha keep meditation practice meditation technique and full ways how to follow the meditation practice in our daily life if you follow these three ways you are practice with the satainity you followed your course for cessations of suffering. Appanaka patipatam patipano. You are walking on the path which is a lead to the cessations of suffering with the satiety. Not only that, yonicca arato aswanankayaya. You have a great effort you struggle for the way of destruction of Asawa. The Buddha explained by these two words. The Buddha promised you are on the right path, Apanaka Padivra. If you follow this way, you are on the right path right part. Your practice is for cessations of for cessations of aswa. Yonisa arato yonicha arato aswanankaya. That is the meaning. Your practice lead to the cessation of aswa. That will lead to the destruction of aswa. That is the Buddha explained. By this way, by this practice, 
you can attain the final liberation, the final liberation is possible through Radha Mega and Radha Pla. In our daily life, the first important is to to guard our sense fatalities because we have a sense of fatalities, our sense of organs, eye, ear, nose, stand, body and mind. Through these sense faculties, craving, hatred, delusions, always a flux in the evil, the other evils of flux in. Therefore, First, we must try to guard our sense faculties. You see, in daily life, we have an eye, therefore we see desirable object or undesirable object, desirable visible object, undesirable visible object. We have it. Ear, we can listen desirable song or undesirable song. We have a sense nose, therefore we get desirable smell, undesirable smell. We have a sense tongue, therefore. We have a taste which is a desirable or undesirable. We have a sense body, therefore we touch tangible, desirable tangible object or undesirable tangible object. We have a mind, therefore we have a thought, evil or good. If we cannot cut these sense of faculties, all evil state will flux into our mind. The mental impurities flux into our mind. The mental impurities influence on our mind. If the mental impurities such as loba, dosa, moha, isa, materia, if it influences these impurities in our mind, we cannot see what is truth by employees of these impurities. We cannot find the way the cessations of suffering. Therefore, this is the most important is we must guard our sense of faculties. To get these sense faculties not so easy for everybody because of the most people's their mindfulness is very weak. 
with quick mindfulness we cannot regard when the sense objects come into contact into the door the objects influence our mind without a mindfulness therefore we cannot cut our sense of quality to cut a sense of quality how to produce how to cut our sense of quality this teaching is not at the meaning we should not look at this very object we should not listen to so not as such a advice we have a ear we have a eye therefore we will see with our eye this very object that is desirable or undesirable whatever may be whenever we see the visible object desirable or undesirable with our eye we must be mindful on the object not to let arise craving for it not to let not to let hatred arise that is how to cut sense of qualities to clarify this on seeing on seeing desirable visible object there may rise craving for it we should not let craving for this object arise we must be mindfulness not to entertain the craving not to influence the craving our mind that is very important practice that is ko indriye su khuda dwara ka on seeing undesirable visible object there may arise a hatred because of undesirable object people so hate undesirable visible object we must be mindfulness we must be mindful not to arise hatred within us with the regard to the undesirable object in this soda and mahasadibhana soda the same things is given the bodhas the same advice is given In Mahasati Vatana Sauta, you see, Vinaya Loki Abhijja Dhamanasa. Abhijja Dhamanasa. Here Abhijja means craving. And other Abhijja is covetousness. Here Abhijja means thinking towards the object. With the craving. Thinking with the craving. for the object that is a craving for to say the word object dominance means unhappiness this unhappiness when we see on undesirable object 
for that object within the people's hatred arises. Hatred is a dosa. Dosa is a followed unhappy feeling. In this soda, in Mahasadivarana soda, not the directly mentioned dosa. It's a mentioned unhappy feeling, dominasa. Abhijja dominasa, papaka, akusala, dhamma, anuasaweyo. If you cannot cut your sense, I sense of sense of quality of I I in faculties. Abhija craving for this desirable object, dominasa, unhappiness dealing with undesirable object, craving for desirable object unhappiness regarding to undesirable visible object. It will arise. We must try to guard our sense of quality or I, not to let craving for desirable object Arise. Not to let hatred or feeling set with regard to the undesirable object. In this practice, mindfulness is the most important faculties. Samasati. Right mindfulness. On seeing, we must be careful. On hearing, we must be careful. Or we must be mindfulness. We must be mindful. On smiling, we must be mindful. On tasting, we must be mindful. On touching, we must be mindful. On thinking, we must be mindful. Without a mindfulness on seeing, craving for it, or unhappiness with the regard to the object will arise. The same way, on hearing sound, if it desirable, craving for it arise. If undesirable, feeling sad or unhappiness rise regarding to this object. So we must be mindful not to let the evil state, especially craving, lover, hatred, dosa. If we realize the nature of the object or the nature of phenomena, by this way we can reduce our delusion, ignorance, moha also. People's own th thinking on on thinking, also, if it desirable, craving for it arises. If undesirable, hatred or unhappiness arises. We must be mindful not to arise as such a lover and daughter. If we have mindfulness, knowledge is followed. Sati Sampachanya. 
Mindfulness. Mindfulness leads to knowledge. Knowledge without a mindfulness, no knowledge can arise. Therefore, nahi sati virhita panya nama ati. There is no wisdom, no knowledge, which is without mindfulness. Therefore, mindfulness helps the arising of knowledge. We must have mindfulness and comprehension or knowledge. The Buddha used this term sati sampatanya. Sati is mindfulness, sampatanya, comprehension or understanding or knowledge or wisdom. These two phenomena in meditation practice are very important. These two phenomena have different functions. Sati's function is just mindful, just mindfulness is a function of sati. But the sati cannot realize, cannot realize, cannot understand. Just mindful, just mindful the object. But it cannot realize the nature of the object. To realize the nature of the object, the functions of knowledge. These two phenomena must work together. So these make mindful the object, knowledge, penetrate the nature. That is a joint venture. Unitedly work for an object. Without the Sati Sambhachanya, it is impossible to guard sense faculties in the Riesu Kotatwara. If we cannot guard sense of qualities, there will influence mental impurities, lower dosa moha, etc. They will influence our mind. They make polluted our mind. They make, they salad our mind. With the impure mind, we cannot understand. It make understand weak. With the weak understanding, we cannot penetrate the natures of the object. Therefore, to cut sense of qualities important practice. Therefore, in this Sutta, the Buddha taught us, you must have Indriya Sukkoda Dwarata, the quality to cut the sense faculties. By this way, we can Applied the flux, flux of asoa into our mind. Then the second is bhajani matinyuta. One must moderate in eating or taking meal. That is also important because of Without the food, nobody can sustain their life and body. 
It is important the daily food. For meditation practice also, food is necessary. For sustaining our, our life also, food is important. Food is necessary, but there, there are some impurities dealing with the food. The most serious evil is rasatana, rasatana, craving for taste. Rata, rasatana is the worst evil for living beings. Therefore, to reduce or to remove Rasatana, we must consider with the knowledge the Buddha this keep it away. How to reduce Rasatana or how to remove the Rasatana in your daily food? Bhajani, Bhajani, Matanyuta. Bhajani matan yuta, moderate in food or moderate in eating. We never take a food, we never take a meal. You must consider why you are eating or why you are taking meal. You must consider correct ways. How to consider? First, you must consider for the purpose of taking me, for the purpose of taking me, why you take me, why you are necessary to have a food. If you cannot consider the purpose, Craving easily influences your mind regarding to the food. Therefore, in correct way, you must consider why are you taking me? The Buddha gave it the first. You should not purpose for eating, for taking food. The food, you should not take the food for the sport or for playing. You should not eat food for playing. You should not eat you should not eat for indulgence. You should not eat for personal charm. You should not eat your food for dormant. This is you should not keep the end for Daily food. Newa tawaya na mataya na mantanaya na vipusanaya. For that purpose, you should not take me. If you take me for such a purpose, that is your practice, it will be wrong. Therefore, deeply consider. So what for purpose you take me? Imasa kayasa titiya For sustain this body. Without the food we cannot sustain our bodies. Therefore just for sustain the bodies we must eat. Yapanaya 
to make the body comfortable. Without meat, we will be hungry. If we are hungry, we cannot concentrate. If we cannot concentrate, we cannot have a right understanding. Therefore, to remove hunger, food is necessary. So, you must consider these, the need of food. Therefore, I take food for being comfortable of the bodies. We hate Subhadratiya. If you have not food, you may be tired. Therefore, to remove tiredness or to remove suffering. The another purpose is Brahmacharya Nogahaya. You need it for food. You need your food for holy practice or noble practice, Brahmacharya. Noble practice a full noble path. To follow a full noble path. So for these purposes, we must take our daily food. After that, you must be careful dealing with the food. By taking me, we must be careful to remove the old disease. What is the old disease? Without the food, we are hungry. Hunger is a kind of disease to remove hunger. That is it. Iti pura nanja viranam pati hankhami. Again removed all disease. All discomfortability. discomfortability. Now vancha viranam na upadisami. By taking me, we should not cause to rise new disease. That is, must be careful. New disease. Some people say, by passing or rasatana, they eat more and more. They eat more and more. Therefore, new disease come into being. Some people say, even the the food is unhealthy or disagree with his body. But they cannot abide, they take this food. New disease come into fear. Therefore, whatever food disagree with us, we must not take such a food. We must abide, which is a disagree with, the, with us. The Buddha said, after eating, after taking meal, we must be comfortable for practice meditation. So, that is also great help of meditation practice. Therefore, there is also need to follow this way. The Buddha gave this one as a second. Pochani Mata Nyuta. That is an important practice. If you not follow this practice, your meditation practice, maybe there is a lot of disturbance to attain enlightenment. If you not moderate in food, you may have the problems that is obstacle for meditation practice. Therefore, that is also included in meditation practice. That is a kind of struggle for destruction of the cessations of suffering. 
The next one is Chakriya and Yoga. There is meditation, timetable. Timetable of meditation, the Buddha said. Meditation practice timetable. According to this is Sota. You must meditate the whole days. You must practice meditation the whole days. The Buddha kept Tiva San. Chankami na Nisachaya Avarniyehi Tamehi Chaitam Prisoreti. Tiva San means by day. Chankami na walking up and down. Walking meditation practice. Nisachaya, sitting, by sitting. Avarniyehi tamehi chaitam process. You wash away the mental impurities. Generally, the Buddha is explaining a meditation practice. Because of NDT, the Buddha is explaining a Mahasatipatthana Sota, meditation of that, Kaya Virana Chaita Tama. Accordingly, we must have to find day walking. You must have purified your mind. You removed your mental impurities. What is mental impurities? Especially mental impurities are nivarana, hindrances, kama chanda, Pyavada, desire for sense of pleasure, Kamachanda, Pyavada, hatred, Odacha, Kokocha, mental restlessness, and remorse. Tina Meta, mental tiredness and physical tiredness, or sloth and topper, which gets us doubt. These are mental impurities. The other evil states are also mental impurities. By day, walking, sitting, you must try to remove these mental impurities. That is meditation practice. The Buddha gave a general purpose, general practice here. When the day has gone, night comes into being, the Buddha gave us night, you should be divided into three according to watch Patamayama first watch Machimayama middle watch Pachimayama last watch so you must divide the night into three into three the first watch uh, if the night is uh, composed of the eight hours, composed of eight, composed of twelve hours, you must divide exactly four hours each. Four hours each. First watch, four hour. Middle watch, four hour. Last watch, four hours. The Buddha advised, as a day, you must follow the first watch, the whole first watch, four hours. Walking, sitting, you must try to purify your mind. In the last watch also, you must try to purify your mind. 
Eight hours at night, you must follow meditation practice. But four hours of meditation practice, and four hours watch, mental watch, and mental watch, it is a need to take a rest. It's a need to take a rest, four hours. The midnight, middle, the mid watch, at four hours. You must lie down. You must lie down on right side. So, how to lie down the Buddha keep in this sodas? And other sodas also. Meditators, how to sleep? How to lie down to take a rest? Dakinena pasena. Dakinena pasena. Seyang kapeti. Must lie down to sleep, right side, on its right side. Not the left side, right side. Padi pada acharaya. Must place the right foot on right leg on the left left foot. A little a little wide, not to not to touch uh, anchor to anchor. Then you must uh, keep uh, your wake up time, Otana Sanya Manasi Katawa. You must uh, determine before you sleep, I must be wake up or I must be rise up. After four hours. Otana Sanya Manasikatawa. Systematically going to bed. According to your determination, for four hours, take a rest. I sleep in. You must, you must rise up earlier and follow the meditation practice in the last watch or so. That is a meditation timetable. That is called Chakriya New Yoga. Watchful practice. This watchful practice leads to the cessation of suffering. That is the way the destructions of that is the way of destructions of Aswa. According to this Sota, the Buddha gave three practices. Number one, Indari Yesu Koda Tvarata. By with mindfulness or with the knowledge, you must cut your sense of faculties, not to let craving, hatred, and other impurities. The second, Bhajani Matanyuta, to remove rasatana and unnecessary uncomfortabilities. Number three, Chakriya New Yoga meditation practice, timetable for meditation practice, the whole days. If you follow it this way, whatever your techniques may be, the Buddha explained in detail in Mahasadivatana Soda and other Sodas. Accordingly, you must follow this meditation practice. The most important is to remove the impurities. Your standards will be, will remain on the movement of removing all the impurities, mental impurities. When mental impurities are, mental impurities decrease and 
when we when removed all kind of impurities your knowledge will be brighter and brighter your understanding will be clearer and clearer when your understanding is strong enough you will attain you will see the sensations of suffering that is a final liberation is nibbana therefore all yogis according to the apanaka sutta may all yogis followed according to apanaka sutta the your path to liberation that is a struck for destruction or cessation or struck for the cessation of suffering let me conclude my dhamma talk in english by saying my wish may you all day nibbana may you or be happiness ไอ้ไหนบาดาเนี่ยขอเปลี่ยวได้ที่สกัดเข้าซีเซชั่นซอสะพาเรงโกยามาโลเปลี่ยนไปแล้วอดุจุขอเปลี่ยวทุกขะ
ไอ้ยุเนซิเนซုံไนซုံไนตะดิเนปัญญาเนี่ยไม่ตานายหมู่ซึ่งอาตวาเตียเนี่ยอเมรันซีเวนนี่แต่จังหมดอาตวาซะ
দবারি দোদারি মোয়ারি মামা নারী সুরে সে এ জিরি হা ওয়া বিরো লম্বু নিমাবে কসে গো লম্বু নিমাবে সুবাদু ঝসি নেমে খামা নি দেশে আয়ু মুমে না শিরে মনে দেশে আয়ু মুমে না শিরে নি দেশে আয়ু মুমে লাই থানে যাইনে নবা সুরা ফেলা মনে দেশে আয়ু মুমে লাই থানে ধোদা সুরা ফেলা ও নবা ধোদা ดาริหามีไล่เตะปอมาชี้ปี้တော့ดาเมสิกะนี่ปี้တော့ลอบะรีดอดาริซีวนลาเตะลุเปียวดาปอเอ้ดาริมะวินยะอ่องเมสิส
มันตนะละอองปองสุเรยีเวเจตินะมะซาเนสาเรคามายีเวเจทายะมากะอิมัตตกายะตะทิขันนะโกติฏฐันโมอด้วยอ๋อยาปะนะทิขันนะโกยี
ลีนัยยอดเดอขันจาโรเนี่ยคณะกุสุรติอนายุอเมอฉิงลีด้วยฉิงเบ้โบลวนาเนี่ยตัดจังโบลุเอริฉิงมาไอ้เส้นนานิ